Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be putting in some pendant lights. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. Okay, so we've got three pre-wired locations for three pendant lights, and the pendant light itself is absolutely huge. Absolutely zero instructions, which I can figure it out, but it's nice to know the sequence to do these things. Anyway, uh, that's the light fixture. They give me all kinds of parts and rods and covers and about 15 feet of wire. Okay, so this is what the finished light fixture looks like when it's assembled. And it gets to that point because you have to thread the wires through all of these separate pieces here. Now, I've taken some measurements and determined that I'm not going to use this one 12 inch piece because I want it a certain height from the countertop, which hasn't been installed yet, as you can see. So anyway, they give you a bunch of pieces. This piece I've determined is a double female piece, goes on the very top of the fixture. And then I'm using two additional pieces uh, to make up the right height. And all you do is I just simply connected all the wires together. I twisted them together and threaded them through the hollow tubes in the right sequence. And make sure that you get everything on there. For example, the ceiling cover and there's a retaining nut underneath it. If you miss one of those, you're gonna be taking the light fixture back down again to thread those back on in the, cro in the proper sequence. Okay, the fixture is assembled. I've taken some measurements and snipped off the wires where I needed them. And so now it's time to get it on the ceiling. Okay, I am using number six screws. And I'm simply going to attach it to the box. And the fixture is up. Okay, so you might have noticed I've moved the wires gently into the box so they're not a bunch of them hanging down all over the place. So now all I'm gonna do is connect black to black, white to white, and ground. And I've also, there's also a ground screw here. I've connected them to the ground screw so I should be safe. And uh, obviously I have tested that the power is off. There's black. Here comes the white. And the ground I do the same thing on. And now I just gently fold them up into the box. No sharp folds, just gentle curves. Lastly, I've got a box for the decorative cover that goes over the top of this whole thing, like so, with a retainer nut on it. And that holds the whole thing together. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna need just to add this giant glass globe onto here and I'll probably need about five hands to do it. This sucker is huge. Wow. Okay, this isn't easy.
Okay. There we go. Okay, I put a bulb in it and it's all set to go. Only two more to go. Okay, there's the finished shot of all three. Not a bad job. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.